individual achievements of the students whose work we recognize today. I also want to recognize the faculty members who have mentored and guided our graduates. Your efforts have been crucial to the intellectual growth and achievements we celebrate to get today. Thank you so much, faculty. And a special welcome as well to the parents, family, and friends who are here today to share the joy of watching a loved one reach a rare milestone. And let me repeat to the mothers, happy Mother's Day. Your support and involvement have been crucial to our graduates' success, ensuring that the occasional challenges of writer's block or projects that didn't pan out or lower than expected test scores were never too difficult to overcome. Commencement marks a time of change. It is the culmination of years of hard work and rigorous scholarship and research. The degree our graduates are receiving today is a sign that tells the world that they have achieved a level of expertise that will allow them to advance or commence in their chosen discipline and have the prerequisite knowledge to add to the quality of life we lead as global citizens. Graduates, please think back to the start of your journey, to your first days at the university. Entering college fresh out of high school, you began by choosing a field of study. Many of you were attracted to social work with the goal of helping people in your community or you entered our human development program with the goal of working in perhaps healthcare or government, and others of you are on your way to a variety of master's degrees. Of course, there are probably a few of you who made the daring choice of undeclared before setting on your vocation. And then you chose to double or perhaps triple major because you already had the credits. Your work then became more exacting, your scholarship more penetrating, and your perspectives and understandings began to focus through the lens of your discipline. At the same time, you found that your interests were expanding because of the interactions you've had with fellow students. These activities have widened your circle of friends and contacts, and more importantly, given you new intellectual outlets that have helped you see the world in a different light. Or else perhaps you found a new cause or a concern that inspires you. Perhaps a semester abroad has opened your eyes to the global challenge of climate change, or CCPA's service learning and internships expose you to the inequalities closer to home. These experiences have lit a fire under you, and now you're applying your knowledge and leadership skills to making the world a better place. But regardless of what path you take forward, I hope that Binghamton has allowed you to find your passion and that you will continue to renew and rediscover your love for learning, and in doing so, let Binghamton inform your future years. Your nation and the world need your talents. We need individuals who want to work to improve the educational and healthcare systems that deliver services to our community, and people who are working toward a more sustainable environment. In short, we need people who can think critically, analyze precisely, and who can address complex ideas and address difficult challenges. We live in a challenging world where finding the right answer will always be difficult. But I am confident that the class of 2023 will rise to these challenges because I've already seen how our graduates work across disciplines and are dedicated to improving society one decision at a time.